Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, say, I yield myself, my thoughts, my affection, my cravings, my plans, my desires, my vision, my thinking, everything completely to you. I submit to your Lordship. Guide me, instruct me, teach me, correct me. Stop me when it's necessary and take me to where I should be. Make me the man I should be and help me. Lift your hands. Father, we thank you. We give you glory tonight. Be exalted. Be glorified. Teach us, instruct us, correct us, inspire us. 
Don't leave us the same way we came. Be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand. You may be seated. Amen. Please let me make welcome your neighbor to church. Help us and give you your welcome to service. Welcome the other person. Ask the person, how was your day? Man. Did you get angry at Nigeria today? Huh? Did you? In fact, that's why I'm dressed this way. To protest. Like us to use that anger and pray for a miracle to happen in this country come 25th of this month. Did you hear what I said? For a miracle of good leadership, a miracle of good governance. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. For us to pray for a miracle of right-thinking persons. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. To get into power, to get into authority. One thing I want you to know is that prayer works more than you think. Did you hear what I said? Prayer works more than you think. Prayer works more than you know. Prayer is... That was why when the apostles were almost dragged into the day-to-day -day affairs of people in church, they said, no, we must give ourselves entirely to the word of God and to prayers. Are you following what I'm saying? now? And we really need to pray for a miracle to happen in this country this month. Do you know it's possible? Very possible. The Bible said with man, this may be impossible, but not with God. For with God, how many things are possible? All things are possible. Are you following what I'm saying? All things are possible with God. For the things that are impossible with men are possible with God. Let's be on our feet and just begin to pray for Nigeria. De galipa rono sika bregado, brego dishka parate kora badaya, lebro kuje ge bregado, bregado la bregado shka bregade, randa ba kosha ka bregade, liba ba sonda la brata, bregado la bregado shka bregade, laga bregade ga baroshka, bregado la ga bregado shka, bregada la bregado shka. Randa boko shaka bragadea, laga bragadeshka bragadea, bregado liba basata, randa boko shika la basata, bregada laga bragadea, loga bragadega baranda. Open your mouth and pray. In this forthcoming election, let miracles happen at the post. Brego di la barata, brego da la shaka bragade, lega bragade. Let God show that He's in charge in Nigeria. Brega da la baranda, ronda baka shata, brega do la bragata, brega do la bragade, randa boko shika bragade, lega bragadoska, brega da la bragade, shaka bragade, laka bragade shaka. Loka Bragadega Bragade, Laka Bragadeshka, Bregada Laka Bragade, Raka Bragadega, Loka Bragadega, Randa Boko Shika Bragade, Laka Bragadega Baranta, Loka Bragadega Bragade, Laka Bragadeshka, Jaka Bragadega Baranta, Loka Bragadega Baranta, Laka Bragadega Baranta, Loka Bragadega Baranta, Randa Boko Shika Bragade. 
In the name of Jesus, you're going to pray that every plan to use violence to stop people from voting in 2023. We render it null and void. Open your mouth. Jesus name you're going to pray come 25th of this month 
eye neck will not be compromised. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Concerning this election, I neck will not be You're going to pray for the last time right now about the security of lives and property in this country. Open your mouth and declare security in Nigeria. Open your mouth, begin to declare in troubled communities. We declare safety once again. Rakaba, <laughs> 
Lift your hands, Father, we thank you. We give you glory. Can you join your hands with your neighbor right now? Let's agree. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we join our hands and we agree as a church, as a people, that a new day comes in this country. A new experience. In the name of Jesus, let there be emergence of the right people. Of the right people in power. With the right policies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it not be business as usual. Lord, we declare, let it not be business as usual. Hi, you proved it to Nebuchadnezzar. That you rule in the affairs of men. And you give it to whosoever you will. Do it again in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus Christ. There was a time this country cried out during military dictatorship. And you proved it. Lord, in the name of Jesus, once again in this February, do it for yourself, for your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a new day. Let there be a new experience. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Ki onye ji wata ya ke li we no wa Obu ki onyo kwa no ya na ve ke Aba we ki ni kam ke ji Ke ke le ki Ki ni kam ke ye ye si Ya buru no su wo Ki ni kam ke ji Ke to talk to you briefly we have prayed for Nigeria and we believe God heard us do you know he heard us I want you to know that Romans chapter 8 verse number 28 has not been removed from the scriptures all things work together for good to them that what Love God to them who are what? Called according to his purpose. The Bible says all things work together for good. To them that love God. To them that are called according to his purpose. In Isaiah 61, I'd like to show you something. That was the scripture Jesus quoted when he was trying to talk about his mission here on earth. Jesus quoted Isaiah 61 when he was trying to talk about his mission. 
He said, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Do you still remember this scripture? Because the Lord has what? Anointed me to preach what? Good tidings to what? To the poor. He has sent me to what? Heal what? The brokenhearted. To proclaim what? Liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are what? Bound. Look at this. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To what? Confront all who mourn. Look at this. To console those who mourn in Zion. I'd like you to know that there is a package in the gospel that has to do with anybody going through anything in Zion. Are you following me now? So Jesus, you know, trying to quote his mission, quoted the scripture. Meaning that there is a package called comfort for people in Zion. Now, this is completely different from what the world does. I'd like you to pay attention. When people come to sympathize, when, people, when you are in trouble and you see people come around you, at times it is to sympathize. Am I correct? So they don't come maybe for the purpose of changing the situation. They come for the purpose of trying to let you know that at times you hear something like be a man. You hear something like just don't bother yourself. It has happened. Are you following what I'm saying? Now that is comfort according to the world's definition. But when the Bible said that Jesus came to comfort those that mourn in Zion, then what should come to your mind should be the scriptures of the people that were mourning that Jesus went to. Are you following what I'm saying? And he went to comfort them. That would tell you the package of his kind of comfort. When Mary and Martha lost their brother Lazarus, Jesus went to comfort them. Am I correct? But when he was through with, the, his, with his comfort, their brother Lazarus came back alive. When the son, or the only son of a widow at Nain died, Jesus went for the burial definitely to comfort them. But the Bible said he touched the, the coffin and the dead boy came forth alive. Are you following me? When Jairus servant was sick to the scripture said the same thing happened. Jesus went for the purpose of comfort and we saw a turnaround. So when the Bible said that he comforts those that mourn in Zion, he does not just tell them it is going to well, to be well, he makes things well. Are you following what I'm saying? Tell your neighbor, the package in Zion is different. Are you following what I'm saying now? The package in Zion is different. So when you hear that he comforts those that mourn in Zion, those that are going through things in Zion, those that are going through a lot in Zion, in fact, you know, social media has reduced it to a word called Shege. Somebody would just tell you today Shege is on another level. Look at your neighbor, tell neighbor, he came to comfort those who have seen a lot of Shege's. Are you following what I'm saying? Listen, I want you to know that we have been in situations that looked more serious than what we are in right now. Are you following what I'm saying now? Yeah. More serious. You know, you go to the airport right now and they tell you that fixed mask is optional. Yet, there was a time 
Without face masks, you can't enter the bank. You have your money, you cannot assess it. Are you following what I'm saying now? A whole lot and a whole lot had happened. When uh, Soludo was going to do the banking reforms that saw our banks robust now, it was just as though everything was crumbling. God has interest in this country. Are you following what I'm saying now? So the comfort in Zion is not such a comfort where somebody tells you sorry. It is a comfort where somebody tells you sorry with solution. Are you following what I'm saying? It is not just a package of sorry. It is a package of sorry, but with solution. I remember some years ago, we went for this uh, Reverend Dr. Mopai's program many years ago as a little boy. I think it was I and Pastor Good that went for that program. Then we are coming back, and then there was this place on the floor. We didn't know. It, it rained that night. I, I, something was on the floor on the main road like that. And then we marched on it, and we slipped and fell flat on the ground. One guy that saw us as we fell down came there and said, sorry, what are you guys looking, on the ground, looking for on the ground? You know, you just wish you did not hear sorry in the first place. He said, sorry, what are you people looking for on the ground? And he saw us fail. It wasn't as though he came and met us trying to look for something. Are you following what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you that the comfort in Zion is not just sorry alone. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. When Jesus met with uh, uh, blind Bartimaeus, he did not just say this. He will, he will hear him say, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. So he does not just only say sorry, he brings solution. And so I lead you to understand that Romans 8.28 has not been removed. When you read about the greatness of Joseph, it was greatness in times of adversity. Are you following what I'm saying? When you read about Joseph in the Bible, you know, when we did seven days of church, we were talking about the life of David. Am I correct? I hope you are aware that Goliath was the nightmare of Israel for 40 days. It was the nightmare of 40 days of Israel that announced the greatness of David. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that the things working in this country will end up working for our good. So listen, the comfort in Zion is not just sorry. The comfort in Zion is sorry and then there is a solution. Are you following what I'm saying now? And then there is need for you to understand exactly how to operate this time. If you look at things the way they appear right now, you will have every cause to almost start losing heart and then be thinking, what kind of place are we? Are you following what I'm saying? A whole lot. Fuel that you bought the other day for one something is something you are begging to buy now at 400. 450. That's if they agree to sell to you. Maybe places you enter transport for, for 100 naira before, right now is how much? 200, 250, 300. Are you following me now? You look at the number of things that is happening. I like you in your heart of hearts. To tell God, show me the good in this. Because all things work together for good to them that love God. Is somebody following what I'm saying? 
What you see at times is dependent on the angle you view from. Are you following me now? What you see at times is dependent on the angle that you view from. In Job 22 verse 29, look at this. He said, Job 22, 29, I'd like you to show me that scripture. He said, when they cast you down and you say what? Exaltation will come. Then what will happen? He will save the humble person. Can I have it in King James? Look at this. He said, when men are what? Cast down, what will happen? Then thou shalt say there's a lifting up. Listen. He said, when men are cast down, you shall say. He did not say you shall have a lifting up when men are cast down. It means that that scripture is looking at what you say when men are cast down. Listen. He did not say when men are cast down, you shall be lifted up. He said when men are cast down, then you shall say that there is a lifting up. Meaning that heaven is concerned with what you say when men are cast down. When they throw you shege, don't say shege. Are you following what I'm saying? Say that there is a lifting up. The Bible said that life and death is in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Church, are you with me right now? So the scripture said, when men are cast down. He didn't, he didn't just say when they say there's a cast. He said when men are, when they are down. Even if you are down with them, while you are there, start saying that there is a lifting up. And what will happen? And he shall save the humble person. So you're saying that there is a lifting up will bring saving for you. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that what is happening will work together for your good. Is somebody following what I'm saying? So when the Bible said to comfort them that mourn in Zion, it is not just this comfort of where you are comforted and things continue the way they are. It is a comfort that has a package called solution. In Isaiah chapter number 60, let me show you. Isaiah 60, he said, Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is what? Risen upon you. Look at verse number two. He said, for behold, what did he say? The darkness shall what? Cover the earth. And what? Deep darkness, what? The people. Read the other part, want to go? But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Meaning that you will not be part of the shagger going on. We do not deny the shege, but we are sure that this will work together for good. I declare in the name of Jesus, let God open your eyes to something. Amen. Church, are you with me right now? He said that there's going to be gross darkness, deep darkness over the people. But guess what? He said the Lord will arise over you. Are you following me now? So that you saw Joseph became a prime minister. The, that period in Israel and Egypt, the people were complaining. Food was scarce. Just like money is becoming scarce. You have your money and you find it difficult to assess it. Are you following me now? At, I said that... By the time I'm done preaching, I'm going to leave you with some questions that I'd like you to think about, more especially as Nigeria prepares to go on for election. It was in the period of that scarcity that Joseph was announced. Are you following me now? God gave him wisdom in the midst of what was happening. That was why his 
position was seen everywhere. Same thing with David. 40 days, the whole Israel, they were just thinking, what's going to happen to us? Are we going to end up becoming servants to the Philistines? Now, that was what they were thinking. And all of a sudden, David showed up after 40 days of people being confused and perplexed. And through David, God brought victory. And people that didn't know a David noticed that there was a David. Lift your right hands. I declare in the name of Jesus, if the word of God is true and not lie, I declare, let somebody have testimonies this season. Listen, I said to you, what you see at times will be a function of where you look from. Are you following me? It will be a function of where you look from. So the man that is screaming, I am frustrated, there is no plan for something to get better. But for a man that is open with a question, what is the good in this? Something happens. Church, are you with me right now? Yeah. I mean, look at how everywhere is looking. No car to enter. No keke to enter. At some point today, the roads were blocked and so many things. It will just look like everything is coming to an end. We have been there before. Much more than there before. Are you following what I'm saying? Don't ever spoil your year to manifest with the few events happening. Did you hear what I said? Don't ever spoil your year to manifest with the few events happening. The events will come and go and the man of champion will remain. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that this will not see your end. You yourself, you are rising to greatness in the midst of what is happening. Let me hear you say a better amen. Do you know it was in the time of famine in Genesis 26 that Isaac prospered? The Bible said Isaac sold in that land. And he had great possession. The scripture said that he prospered to the point that the people started envying him. Are you with me now? Instead, if you check, the only people in the scripture that responded by impulse. Remember the case of Naomi, the husband. Are you following me? The Bible said... Things were hard in Israel, and all of a sudden, they stood up and they relocated to another city because they felt it was better there. However, the scripture said there they lost their children, lost everything, and it wasn't long they heard that things have become better in Nigeria. Do you know I didn't know when I said that? Are you with me right now? They were surprised when they heard. It was a beautiful decision for them to take at that moment. But what people didn't know was the mind of God. The reason why God tells you his mind before the crisis arises is so that no matter the crisis, you will remember what he said. That was why a night before Paul entered that journey to Jerusalem that they had shipwreck. The Bible said an angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, you must appear before Caesar. He said, you must. And so the scripture said when they were on their way, turbulence and all of that was happening. Why, was all, why all of those things were happening? All he was remembering was what the angel said. 
31st night when we were crossing over, the Lord said it's going to be our year to manifest. And remember, we can never have a better last year. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that everything is working together for your good. And let me say that one of the good this thing will happen to is that anger will rise up in the citizens and they will go and vote the right people this time around. Yeah. Listen, it is not coincidence that this is happening right now. I hope you're following what I'm saying. You know, as much as we believe that this is a strategy to stop politicians from sharing money, how true? Can this be? I mean, use yourself as a case study right now. If you see 5,000 Naira cash now, does it not have more value? I want you to be thinking. And I also want you to ask yourself whether this thing you are passing through affects some people who are in power. Did you meet any one of them at the ATM? Did you see any one of them inside the bank? The bank goes to them. So, do you not feel pity for some of our brothers and sisters who are in the villages? that with money out of circulation, that they will price the little money available. And that the money out of circulation is not really out of circulation. It is still circulating among those people. I hope you're with me right now. Like, I want you to have that food for thoughts going through your mind. Why we passionately prepare to war with our PVC come 25th. Are you following what I'm saying now? Yes. These things should be going through your mind. So, the plan of God is that while all of this thing that is all of this thing is happening, the scripture said, He that sits in heaven shall laugh. Why should he that sits in heaven laugh? Because it is in situations like this that God has always ended up making a difference between they that serve him and they that do not. I pray for your family. You will not suffer anything, anything this evening. I declare you will not lack anything good. David said, once I'm young, now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken of God. Neither have I seen his seed beg bread. I declare in the name of Jesus that God supplies sufficiency that you are even ready to help this season. Touch yourself. Say, my case is different. Say it again. Say, my case is different. Say it again. Say, my case is different. Look at Proverbs chapter number 3. Proverbs 3. Proverbs chapter number 3. This is why you have to read your Bible. This is why you have to have your daily devotional on standby. So that you can always look at the word of God. Because let me tell you, I went to the bank earlier today and I felt so bad. He was just looking at the word of God that the whole thing changed for me. Just looking at the word of God. I hope you're following what I'm saying. Then I just wonder how do some people really survive not going through the scriptures? And the things that are written here, they are true. I'm telling you, very true. Remember that there is a nation called Israel today, it's still existing. If there was no Goliath, you would have heard it. Thank God for social media. If there was no David killing Goliath with a stone, you would have heard that that story did not happen. 
Is there no Egypt? Eh? Football club in Egypt, what do they answer? Pharaohs of Egypt. Why are they called Pharaohs? Because, because of the hard-heartedness of Pharaoh. The Pharaoh will not let, you know what Pharaoh means? We won't let you score. That's Pharaoh of Egypt. So you think there was no Pharaoh? And they answer Pharaohs of Egypt. And how did God deal with Pharaoh? It was God, the one that you still call today, that dealt with him. Are you following what I'm saying? That's why, you know, I mean, if this thing were not through, you would have heard it. Somebody in Egypt will tell you there was no Pharaoh, there was no Moses, there was no Red Sea. But there was a Red Sea. In the midst of the storm, the Bible said God parted the sea. And the children of Israel walked through a dry ground inside the water. Let the good situation inside what is happening open for you this season. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Because there is a different news in Zion, let your life take a different turn altogether. Very soon, it is in your hands that they will find money. I thought you would have said a better aim. Is somebody following what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's somewhere. Are you with me right now? Let me tell you, when, when, when you hear us as Christians, we're shouting amen, and all of that, we are saying, somebody was telling me a story, a testimony. I mean, this thing was happening, was sharing with me, that was on Saturday. And was telling me how that the dad was looking for 20 million naira from the bank to put into his business so that the business will, you know, the, the dad is into importation. He needed money to boost the business. And then the, the dad was processing money with the, with the bank so that they would give him loan for that purpose. And you know, what's the percentage of loans in bank? Is, it, it can, it, can it be less than 5%? 7%. If it is outside people, it will be nothing less than 10%. At times, 12%. So that means if you borrowed 20 million, you will be paying back every month. Every month, you are giving them either 1 million as interest. If you borrowed 15 million, you will be paying back 750 every month. That's if it's uh, around 7% or so. Church, are you with me right now? Yeah? And so, this was what the dad was looking for. And then, he has always told me, in fact, I had a meeting with him in the office. He said that it is touching him that the dad is in need and there are about three brothers and none of them can actually help the situation. That he really needs a way to be of help to this man. And that was part of the pro prayers part of his prayers in, in, in push. And so he said he was where he was doing uh, exercise last year, met uh, a, a, a lady, I think person works uh, with, uh, I feel for what, and they, he, he paid for something for him. Uh, the, for her, let's look at her, say, uh, look at you, small boy, you're paying for something for me. And the person was touched. And then they started talking. That was how he, she, he knew that this person was a referee. And that was it. And they didn't meet again until another time he went for training. That was where he saw this person. And they got talking, and the person was like, uh, do you really have, is there any business idea you have that I can really invest money into? And all of that. And he mentioned the father's business. Uh, the person said, oh, so, so if I put 10 million right now, what will your father give to me at the end of the year as, as interest, as profit? So they started talking, and then the father said, okay, if you put 10 million, at the end of the year, I'll give you 2 million as profit. Now that's ridiculous. 
And then, eventually, the, the woman said, okay, so what if I decide to now put 15 million? What would the interest look like? For one year, one year is 12 months. Remember, if you're checking 15 million by, what's, 10% of 15 million is 1.5, correct? That's 5% of it is 750, 750,000. And then you also give collateral. So the woman say, okay, can you put, give me 5 million at the end of the year? Just use my 15 million to do it. So the, the, the man says, all right, I can do it. So how do we do signing paper? The woman says, I don't need any paper to be signed. What of collateral? I don't need any collateral. I send your account. The, man have not, the woman has not met the person's father. Doesn't even know where the guy is living. And she transferred the 15 million. Look at this. Now, this is one of those unbelievable stories in Zion. No signing of paper, no lawyer, no collateral, no let me come and see. Let me come and see the business. Just that I feel I trust you. Where are you living? No question like that. Discussion happened on Friday. She transferred money on Saturday. If it is Shege you want to see, you will see it. Did you hear what I said? But if you, it is Shalom you want to see, you will see it. Lift your hands. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you have testimonies in Zion. Church, are you with me right now? Now, I'm telling you, look, look at this. This person was sharing this testimony with me on Friday. He said the father looked at him and said, so through you like this, I just got 15 million. He told the father, he said, he said, he told the father, please, what I want you to do now is just send me 150,000. Let me use it and give offering in church. The father said, ah, you why you cook? And the father sent it immediately. If it is 10%, it means you're supposed to return 30-something million after one year. No collateral, no signing paper, nothing. Just that this thing that when we are saying I receive, I receive it, and people think we are joking. Are you following what I'm saying now? Yeah. Are you with me now? Look at the person I'm saying. Look at him. See him. Uh, you know, you know why I sit down. You know why I said this. You know, I told you. Uh, you, you know, people, a lot of things happens. Are you with me right now? Yeah. So. As long as you are in Zion, do the biddings of Zion. That's why instead of complaining, pray. Did you hear what I said? Instead of complaining, what? Pray. The Bible said he would give you a garment of praise instead of mourning. Sunday we're having Thanksgiving service here. We are going to be singing the Lord's song in a strange land. I hope you're following what I'm saying now. Yes? Church, are you with me right now? Yeah? So these are things that you should know. So when we are in Zion... The story, the experience is completely different. Provided that when you are in Zion, you are doing the biddings of Zion. This thing I'm telling you now wasn't what you heard in the bank today. It wasn't what you heard in the market today. In fact, in Access Bank uh, uh, ATM, they fought today. And they almost had to lock the bank and shut everybody out. People were fighting to receive their money.
I had in one of the banks, no matter how much you are looking for, it's only 2,000. Your money. You struggle to make it, you double struggle to eat it. Ah, there's a different sound in Zion. I declare in the name of Jesus that all things will work together for your good. Come on, say the sound in Zion is different. Are you with me right now? Yeah. That's why you must pull your friends to church. Listen. Many people are sleeping into depression. Do you know many people right now, their year is messed up. Just this week alone, they already cursing 2023 with their mouth. They are asking the year where he came from. But he said for you, when men are cast down, you shall say that there is a lifting up. So what I say is more important than what is happening. Say there is a lifting up. Say all things are working together for my good. Say it again. Say all things are working together for my good. Church, are you with me right now? Yeah. Let me show you that scripture. Proverbs 3. Verse number 24. He said, when you lie down, you will not be afraid. Say amen. amen. He said, yes. You will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. Hi. Apart from midnight prayer. That's the only thing we we'll wake up for. Or oh, for some of you who are into tech and who are trading, those of you that don't sleep. Apart from that, you will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. See the news we are reading. Our own is not Guardian. Our own is not Sun newspaper. Is somebody following what I'm saying? This is the news we are feeding on. He said, you will lie down. Come on, say, I will lie down. Yes. Say, and my sleep will be sweet. <laughs> Church, are you with me right now? Look at this. He said, do not be afraid of sudden terror, nor of trouble from the wicked when it comes. He said, don't be afraid of sudden terror. Just the sudden news that came. He said, do not be afraid of sudden terror, nor of trouble from the wicked when it comes. Look at this. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. Hey! Come on, say the Lord is my confidence. So imagine people whose confidence is I have so much in my account. You come, they give you a gen 2K with your whole money. And he has five, five naira, ten, ten naira in all your money. So you see, we have never said we are rich because of what we have in our account. It has always been because of God. He said, and the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. Poverty can't catch you. Hardship cannot catch you. Hardness cannot catch you. Look at the news in Zion. Listen, this is what you believe and you see miracles. That's why the Bible says, who has believed our report? He said to the same is the arm of the Lord revealed. Look at 27. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due. So if you are supposed to assist somebody, don't say, are you not seeing what is happening? If you are in a position to help, remember the Lord told us this year to be willing to help. See the scripture. He said, do not withhold good from those whom it is due when it is in the power of your hand to do so. Unless it is not in the power of your hand to do so. Don't kill yourself. 
Did you hear what I said? Don't kill yourself. But as long as it's in the power of your hand, the Bible said, don't withhold good. Look at this. Do not say to your neighbor, go and come back, and tomorrow I'll give it to you when you have it what? With you. Shake your neighbor. Say your neighbor, are you seeing the Bible? Are you following this? Look at this. He said, do not devise evil against your neighbor. For he who dwells by you for what? Safety's sake. Be on your feet. Say, God is my confidence. Say, my case is different in Zion. Say, I live in Zion and I operate differently. Listen, can you use your mouth a little bit? Come on, say the best is happening for me this season. Say, I know that all things work together for good to me that love God. Say, even what is happening right now will work together for my good. Say, I will not lack anything good. Say, no good thing will he withhold from me. Say, as far as 2023 is concerned, say it was settled before I came in. It is my year to manifest part one. Say, and everything will end the manifestation. Say, I am confident that he that started a good work in me, say he will complete it. Say, the best of me is coming out. Say, I have silver. I have gold. Say, I have money in different currencies. Say the word and everything in it is working together for my good. Say the government will work together for my good without them even knowing it. Say an idea will drop inside of me. Say very soon it will drop. Say very soon it will drop. Say and the money they are hiding will gravitate towards me. Say, I will sleep, and I will sleep well. Say, my sleep will be sweet. Don't go and stand on the ATM from 4 a.m. When you withdraw, that one will still finish. Don't put yourself under unnecessary pressure. Did you hear what I said? Yes. You know, people are doing as though if you go to ATM, you withdraw that one. It will serve you the whole year. That's why people even had to fight. One day you will look for it and say, where did they go? Just like we are asking ourselves, what happened with COVID? Look at World Cup and the crowd that gathered. Look at everything. The church did what they were used to doing, praying. It's not a time to miss church. It's a time to hold God. Is somebody following what I'm saying? It's not a time to serve God with caution. It's a time to serve God with the whole confidence. Because it has been proven that nothing is as certain as God. Lift your hands and thank him. Give him all the glory. Kadebara de soja. Every cota man de gabaroste, lege brocon zaparata, zecatora badashka, bregadola bregadoska, brecatonga baranda sa, lega barose cadalia, randa boco shanda la bancasa, rabadaga soba randega, lege bregadoske bregadea, laga bragadea, randa brogodoska. Bregada la baconte cabrecatoa, laga bregado cabregadaya, laga bragadega baraca tacaba, ronda baca sataca tacata, loca tacata cata, randa boco shanda la bahaya, randa boco si bragadea. The news in Zion is different. Bregado la ca, rababashe, randa bocosa, rabalego, rabalande, zagalaba, robalaga, zege bregadoska, bregadaga baranda, zoga bragadea.
in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands with faith in your heart. And so in the name of Jesus, I declare that these declarations made today becomes your reality. In the name of Jesus, since you still appeared before God in Zion, in the midst of what is happening, may you grow from strength to strength. May you grow from grace to grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. And so I declare in the name of Jesus that heaven will give you an idea for this season. And may this idea make you give testimonies this season. May he open your eyes to where things are going. May you be there before he gets there. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that you will lie down and your, sweet, your sleep will be sweet. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy, lift your two hands. All the goals, visions, dreams that you have in your heart concerning 2023. Against all odds, you are fulfilling them. In the name of Jesus Christ. May you have a testimony. May you have a miracle. I declare financial miracle. This money that they are looking for, let it be found in your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. It was in the midst of famine that Joseph prospered. In the midst of situ bad situation that David was introduced. Lift your hands. 2023 will end for you a manifest. In the name of Jesus Christ. This February that is our month of open doors.